Okay. It's not one of mine. Arkanoid, I think that's one of mine. And they are very it's old. Okay. Oh, that's not good. this one. Arcanoid. So this one actually ended up being a demo and game maker. I don't know if it's still there actually. They might have gone by now. Doop. Oh. And you can right click to fire more balls. Hey. There was something to drop. Um, the different power ups that Arcanite had. I did have them in, but I don't know how, how you drop them. None of the easy keys. I don't know what happens when you finish it either. So this was actually the first live stream I did. Hmm, nothing happens. There you go. Um, well, this looks like an early one because it doesn't seem to have all those things that come down. It just seems to be the basic. There you go. Just the basics. So that's. Boring. Uh, player. There's a collision with the ball. That just flips the ball's direction. Um, and that fires another ball. God, I can't, it's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> I'm going to have to relearn Game Maker. Nothing. It's just, yeah, but didn't get very far that one. Okay, so what else have we got? That was Arkanoid. Asteroids? I don't think I did an asteroid. I did start a whole load, but never got very far with some of them, just started playing mainly with cutting graphics up. Yeah. Mm, there's actually stuff in there. Doesn't do anything yet though. That might be a good one to do. I have written in Asteroids before um, on mobile phone back in when it was doing J2ME stuff. So what else have we got? I do fancy doing an asteroids. That was that was a fun game to do. Uh, asteroids have to get back. Now I did also start um, an attic attack level drawer. So this should have um, included files. There we go. So this takes the original attic attack file and draws the levels. Oh, at least that was what I was supposed to do. There you go. I really need to do a software line draw though because they're very thin compared to the pixels. Yeah, 
a nice softy line job would be good there, just to make it a bit more chunky. Fancy all the way through. So again, this would be a good one to actually do because I've got the levels drawn. I mean, it's like 120 rooms or something I've got. Oh, there we go. That's the last one when you come out. I actually started this because a friend of mine says he was having problems rendering it uh, for his channel. So I had to play to see what it was like. I think there was a couple of gotchas, but nothing too bad. Um, clearly we got that one. Draw room. Not much to it. It's probably something that does gets the graphics though. Um, yeah, create graphics. Getting the bitmap graphics into Game Maker is a bit of a faff. Um, you actually have to plot the individual pixels. So. Forgive me if I don't see your text, my camera's a bit faffy and it's right over the top. Um, so yeah, the, the, the graphics in, in this, that's the, the bitmaps themselves rather than the lines, these things. You have to kind of grab them, bit shift them down and then set pixels in a, an actual surface to be able to render them. Um, so don't know if it just looks like I've got yeah okay so there's I don't ever create a single surface or I have a surface pair oh okay there you go so I create a surface pair graphic and then just that gets printed again it's not very much for drawing and then the room draws, it has a list of lines if I remember correctly and you just kind of run through and draw them. So it's not terribly complicated either. And then you, it's got lines in it, it's got a list of graphics and where to draw them. Um, and that's about it. But that would be good fun to um, carry this on and actually get the basics of a game going as well. Alright, so what else have we got? I think that ballistics. This was an old one that I did do. So I actually ported this for the C64 and then helped on the PC Engine one. Um, I think I did this when I was playing with Game Maker Physics. So it's using Box 2D Physics to actually do the ball, which is a bit of a cheat. So obviously, you never had that. But it kind of shows that you've got a lot more tools these days that you just didn't have back then. That would normally be a goal up there. The one player ballistics was just a fight against gravity. Um, the collisions are a hell of a lot better than the ones I had. So, um, and I put in these collision tile things. There's lots of different tile types. Um, really, this was a two-player game. It was a really boring game, but you know, first game and all, it was fine. It was a port of um, an ST game from Reflections. Oh, there's a limited ball, number of balls at the top as well. So you run out. They've got a life. You can see they've got shadows in as well. I think I just did that with. A layer, so there's several layers. Yeah, there's the shadows, and then you had the puck and the balls underneath that, so they were going underneath the shadows. There's a collision. I, th I suspect I put them in as boxes into box 2D, but that would be an interesting thing. 
because I might have just bounced them myself. So there's the ball. Objects. Fuck. Some ball parent. Because all the balls have to bounce off things. Ball parent. Oh. Doesn't actually have any code in it. Oh, no, I do the tile closure myself. Okay. Wow. I collide with the background. The, the special blocks. So I wonder if... Um, I wonder when I set up... What pyramid... It's got a collision shot, so it's an actual collision object, a uh, physics object, so there you go. That turned out to be quite a simple one to do compared to what it was like back in the day. So, let's see what else we've got. I suppose like B dash, so this will be a boulder dash clone. I did start doing a port of Boulder Dash um, as a game in a day as well. I think it got, this took about an hour and a half. Yeah. So all this was about an hour and a half, but it's got all the basics. Uh, it's got all the, the block stuff and things falling. Um, graphics were ripped from the C64 one. And the rules were all pretty simple to implement. I'm assuming everybody can hear me okay this time, by the way. <laughs> Since the whole point of this is to test the setup. It's a bit annoying the camera's in the way of the uh, chat. So this one is incredibly small. For basically having the whole um, game mechanic, core mechanic in there. There's not much to it. Um, let's see, a bit of debug. That's for drawing. I can remove tiles. Um, this loops over the whole map and then where there's a tile, a uh, specific tile, it checks you know, one of these tile numbers. It checks underneath and round to see if the block should fall and it just progresses top to bottom each frame to check it and that's how everything moves incredibly simple I'm trying to find the player movement because that should just be there we go process player it's, it's nothing complicated so that's all it is for the core mechanic of uh, boulder dash it's like that loop let's move this down a bit don't need that just now so that loop and player movement and that gives you the core you know running about taking things away stuff falling um, it really isn't very much at all and that took like an hour and a half to get all the graphics in and that was just what was copying and cutting and pasting from same with that controller tile sets it was all done as tiles, so even the guy, because it was a Commodore 64 one, I just changed the guy uh, tile um, and move him about and clear the tile, so it, it kept it really simple. But all you'd have to do is take him out and make him a sprite, and you could put in like pixel movement without any problems. So I should probably finish that one off, but really, it's kind of all there anyway. So, um, what else have we got? The cash, blood money. I think it reasonably far with blood money. Um, but I ran out of baddies to put in. Ooh. Pop. Oh, I didn't like that, did it? 
pop. Okay. Let's try that one again. Okay. Guess it went a bit funny. Yeah, it's kind of clean, just in case. How do y'all? It's uh, who have appeared. So all I'm doing today is testing the setup, making sure everybody can hear me. Um, oops, and going through the old games that I did, the, the gaming in a day stuff. Um, I suspect that's now a built in and it's getting annoyed. So, where did that come from? Was that controller? Let's try that. Hey, there you go. Oh, now I added some shadows to the baddies. Because you can. So I had all these uh, sprites um, on old discs from back in the day. So I was able to put them on. Um, and I followed a uh, long play to see what the map was. Quite like the way I ended up doing the map on this one. Um, so it's a pretty big map. I stupidly started at the top. I should have started halfway down. There, however, so you can see the baddies are there and they've got paths and they they follow them. Um, and it'd be better if the paths were a bit easier to do in here. They're just not quite and not particularly good. Um, the collisions are just little eight by eights. I painted over. And you'd collide with them. I actually did quite a lot of the map. I got carried away doing the level. That was good fun. Um, I don't know what the debug was. We actually used this to um, optimise Game Maker. I filled the whole screen with several layers and it was crawling. So I we went through and optimised it so that it's now nice and fast. So those are the directions. So in the past we just had a table of bytes that did the directions, but this gives you kind of total free form inside the editor to design it however you want it. And you just paste it. Basically when the top left corner hits this block, it'll take that block and then start moving again until it finds another one. So it's actually quite a nice way of doing it. So that was blood money. Don't know why Game Maker went pop there, that was interesting. Um, Bomberman. I don't think I did a Bomberman. That's interesting. So, <coughs> okay, I was just starting to do a Bomberman game. Oh, clearly didn't get very far. Okay, that's not working. Let's try a different one. Try me a... Ooh, several different ones. So this was uh, Shahid's game, Commerce 64, I think he did that one. Uh, isometric. Um, again, I did several... Uh, What's it not liking? I don't know. It's a shame. I should really fix these all up. It'd be nice to kind of release them. Ooh. Okay. I 
think this was testing out room inheritance. This might be an early one that it's not. Yeah, that looks like inherited stuff. So it might be an early one that's um, doesn't have everything in it. I think I got a map of this from online. Oh, there we go. Um, and it had it all laid out and I just copied that kind of grid um, and then painted it in because it's basically you go from one room to another it's just moving on that grid spacing so it's basically just a, a row by column big map um, and the isometric rendering is just based on a 2D map um, like I said it would be nice if we could get this running again Um, there's got to be a a room. Nope. Nope. Hmm. That's just the tiles. I don't. Scripts. Oh, there's a draw room. Yeah. So you basically just start at the back right and then draw down the back and then the next layer and the next layer going down in a kind of isometric step based on the actual 2D cell. Um, it's actually commented as well. Look at that. If we could get this working, it would be a good one to release for folk. See, I'm sure he'd say, and I could do that if I wanted. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, God, that's something else. Deeper dungeon. I don't know. That's deeper dungeon. Oh, that's just the demo. This was the demo that um, I did for the Gaming Studio stuff, just using that kind of nice behind shaders and stuff. It was nice to have a pretty demo to show off, something we were lacking for a long time. That's quite cool. Kind of flickery background animations and lights, they were quite nice. All tile map stuff, so it was usually quite quick. And then this, the shader stuff was quite cool. Okay. Um, Defender. I did do a Defender. I did change all the graphics to to one of them and then put it up on the Yo Yo Marketplace. Ooh, there we go. So somebody had been asking me about how to do wrapping levels um, and in the old days it was quite natural maps just went off one side because you were drawing everything it would just go off one side and come back on the other um, but using engines it's a little bit more complicated so you basically end up printing everything twice um, one on the left and then one right at the end of it and then it just kind of wrap trying when you get to the end of that you just put it back so you've just got two copies like just kind of do that uh, um, I did like the lasers the lasers actually from jetpack which I probably got coming up as well um, it's just a nice little effect that pinched from there demo Okay. What's this going to be? <clears throat> Not a lot. No. 
Oh, I think he was wanting to do a sign wave scroller. <laughs> okay. So it's probably going to drop to surface and then wave it like the old school demos. I got bored. <laughs> uh, Exile. Exile was a BBC game, wasn't it? Oh, this doesn't look promising. There's nothing there. Okay. There's not yet anything in this one. I was playing with the Exile map on, as, a, as an import uh, when I was doing all the game maker because you can load in bitmaps and turn them into tile maps and maps. Um, and I did use the Exile map. Ooh, Frogger. I actually started a Frogger. Something there. And get very far. That would be a good one to do. Because it's. I mean, that's just. Yeah. Nothing there. Probably drawing it as a. Yeah. Okay. That might be a good one to start with. It's a pretty simple game. Um, and I have the graphics, so I'll have to remember that one. What else? Gauntlet. Gauntlet one was fun, because um, you had to do all the the movement of all the characters. You could have hundreds of characters on screen. Um, I think I got all the arcade. Somebody had ripped all the arcade sprites. Yeah. <sighs> Gonna pop again. Well, that's not great. I wonder if I can just open that one or if it's the project's buggered. To some extent it'd be good if the project was buggered because I could just hand it over to Yo-Yo and go, it's broken! Again. There's a proper one, that's not what I wanted. It opened up in a browser. There we go. So, all of these are on, it's basically there's a grid. Uh, oh, for sake. There's, there's a grid, um, and it looks in that cell to see if it's empty. If it is, it can move into there and it kind of occupies that and moves forward and then they all do that. Um, so it's very easy to... Bloop. Oh. I'm stuck. I'm crash. I think the format of that is, isn't what I think it is. I've had that bug in something else. Where's that? Oh, player. Um, oh, player. Space, space. Instance create. There is no instance create anymore. It's instance create layer or depth. So this one was done in the early days of uh, GMS2. Um, more as proof of concepts than anything else. So player. So we'll clear it in. Layer X Y Layer Pouch. Oh, what's that? A var struct. That's a new bit. Must be able to pass stuff in. That's interesting. Hey, look at that. Right, so oh, there we go. Hey, so put stuff up. So like I say, you just imagine all of these as just a big grid 
and it looks so on this one here if I run up this will look, say is that empty yes I can move it in there and then that'll go is that empty is that empty and they can all kind of stagger up and then they just kind of face you so it all just kind of works and I've got around to doing the doors I think I ran out of time The idea of the game in the day stuff is you get 10, ten hours is what I count as um, a day for, for, for doing this just to keep it a bit manageable. A lot of these things if I did tw full 24 hours I'd, I'd be doing fine details of the games which is a bit much. Uh, anyway so I had all the panel stuff, I had the sprites. Um, It was fine. And it had the spawners as well. That's why I keep getting lots of coming out. Bloop. So you have to get rid of the spawners and actually to be able to make any progress. Presumably the original gauntlet had limits. Um, just the way the hardware worked. It goes on forever, doesn't it? Right, so anyway, there you go. There wasn't anything particularly complicated in this either. Where's the baddies? So, there you go, just. If it's got a. If it's started to move, then it kind of keeps moving. Um, and then it checks the tile map zone to see if there's anybody there. If there's not, then it can set itself to move in that direction. So it was pretty simple. So yeah, that was it was fun. It looks like it's all tiled stuff as well. Hey, what else have we got? Uh, got my jetpack. Uh, I did get far in. In fact, I did basically complete the whole game in jetpack. If this is the... That is not good. Trying to go to Opera again. Why do I keep trying to go? Clean. Okay. Oh, it's doing my YYC. Not doing YYC. Alright, so. Um, turn it up. Oh, I had firing in this one. Oh, there we go. Yay. This one's got colour clash and everything in it. This was done in about six and a bit hours, six and a half hours. So, you know, well under a day. And if memory serves, it's got like all the different levels as well. Like you get three levels of each spaceship. And then the spaceship changes. Can't remember how many spaceships there are. Maybe four, six. I'll be in the sprites. I'll be able to see from there. Um, and then it just looped round once you had, once you've been through all those. So it was six times three levels before it looped. I think I've only got one body type in it. were different types of bodies. 
ones that kind of just moved along like this and exploded when they hit and ones that bounced off the sides and whatnot. So oh, that should have flashed really. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty good for six hours effort. Did that seem like it was quicker? Oh ah. no, we've got a different. That's a different body there. So I must have put in some bodies. Okay. Jesus, a lot. Of that. <laughs> Don't think the spectrum could have quite as many bodies going at once as this. <laughs> this was such a fun game. The uh, the gauntlet one was all the arcade sprites. Um, I think somebody had ripped the arcade sprite, so I, I used that as the basis. So yeah, it'll look like uh, the arcade one. I'm having difficulty seeing the uh, chat, so I am missing stuff. Big about right, anyway. So that's uh, sprites, rocket. So there's all the different bits of rocket. No, oh, there's not that many. Three, two, four different rockets. There is a space shuttle one there as well. Is that zero? Two, three, four, maybe. Don't know. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. All right, okay. Um. Let's use that animation. And I did have fun with the color clash on this one. There's like eight different ways of doing it so that. You write blocks of colour and then you set a blend mode so that it kind of cut out um, the sprites. It only drew where the sprite was so you got that kind of authentic colour clash. And that was pretty good fun. That probably took most of the time to be honest. It took a while to get that right but it was good fun. Okay, what else have we got? And there's Game Maker once again going to crash on me. Jetpack or oh, the Lemmings one. Now, this one's a little bit annoying because I did actually have three streams for this. Uh, but it was before I started streaming to YouTube, um, I was going to Twitch and Twitch lost the stream. It didn't encode properly. So I lost the third one and I'd, I'd done more than what. Uh, more than what's um, up on my YouTube, unfortunately. That was a bit annoying. I can't remember how much I've done. Oh, yeah, it's I've changed. It's a little bit annoying that they don't fix this up because they could. I don't know how many skills I did. <laughs> Come on. Hey. So let's a little builder. Splatter, obviously. Water. Didn't do that one. Oh, ooh, that's a bit slidey. Oh, did a bomber. Did 
Did I do the explosion? Hey, ooh, it's a bit vertical. Uh, so that, do that, do that. I might have done that one. Let's get another. See, we did this one. Nope. How about this one? I've even got the mini map. Oh, did the uh, digger. So you can see the wee dot where the lemming's going. There was a little window over here that you could drag about, and that was how you got about quickly. Um, really, it should have just used the right mouse button to drag it about. I'm using the middle one here. That's fine. That was a fun, fun one to do, I have to say. It was a bit different. What else we got? Lighting blog. I did do a blog on the, the Yuri Games tech blog saying how you can do lighting systems. There you go. So this was using tile maps. Um, I think the blog's still there. Telling you how to do this. It's not that complicated. That means you can do all these kind of, you know, the, the, the dungeon kind of crawler games where everything's in dark and then you can kind of walk about with a light um, and everybody else can have a light. Um, and you get that kind of atmospheric thing. And it's pretty quick. So it's quite good. What else have we got? A lighting engine. Alright, this was just taking it further. Um, got lots of static lights and then this dynamic one. So you'd imagine these on the wall throughout a dungeon. Um, presumably you could have them flickering away if you really wanted to. Just have that kind of atmosphere as you kind of walk through things. Then you could have things in the dark. You'll notice here, I managed to get the so it's completely dark in areas and then you, it would reveal itself. The blind modes for that are a bit faffy. Um, so I, I had to play with it a little bit to get it right. I can't remember exactly. Shaders. That's all the radius for the different lights. So I don't think that's the merge one. Okay. Clearly not that one. I don't know. I was going to do a uh, a marketplace asset with uh, the lighting stuff. Ellie shader. Okay. I think I detected stuff moving. So it was, um, everything was actually dynamic. But if you didn't move stuff, it would keep the surface. And I used the red, green and blue and alpha channels of a surface to actually uh, render the shadow into. But if you didn't move a shadow then it would just keep that surface. That's why it was so fast. It, it's, although even when everything's moving it was still really quick. It's not a complicated, um, complicated thing to do. Okay, what have we got? Um, Manic Miner. Now, I did two Manic Miners. One was actually recreating from scratch, um, and then one was taking the original SNA file. So this was recreating from scratch. So I copied the sprites out, rebuilt the whole level. Oh, he's not really jumping very well, is he? He's a bit wibbly wobbly. Oh, it's even got the destroyed floor. There you go. I 
don't know how accurate the collisions are on this. Character doesn't look particularly good. A lot of that might be from the resolution of the sprite to the much higher resolution for printing stuff. Hey. It's basically okay, but it's just a wee bit out. Oh, look at that, I've got multiple levels. So many levels there to do. Okay. Three. So we've got, it's inherited again as well. Tile map for that, then instances, no background. So nothing particularly complicated. And it's just manic minor, I mean it's, it's, You have baddies and they move and they draw. Um, and the player just collides with um, any of the baddies. Presumably the baddies got a parent or something. No, I might have just changed the sprite because there is only one baddie. So just in the room the, the sprite gets changed. Okay, what else we got? Oh, well, it was the other Manic Miner, wasn't there? So this one, I think, Manic Miner hack. So this one, I think, was taking the original SNA file of Manic Miner that you would load up into uh, an emulator and reading all the levels out of that. I don't think I actually did the game playing in it. I think it just displayed... Hmm. Yeah, so this is really just displaying the levels. I forgot I had the um, movement in them. It's not totally right. Manic Miner did have lots of fudges for things, but you basically get the whole game um, that you could base everything on. And you see all the movements, fine. But there is no gameplay in that. But getting the levels is really the hard bit. The rest of it's just platform jumping, picking stuff up. That's pretty easy. Um, Again, there was a blog for doing this. I don't know if the blog's still live. That's another one I might try and recover because it, it was interesting. Although I did do a stream for this, I think. The stream's probably live. You can probably find that on my site, how I went about it. That was another one where I had to copy all the graphics. Um, so you had to import the bitmap as binary, spectrum binary stuff and then actually make surfaces with sprites on them and whatnot. I got a little bit more complicated. It was good fun. Uh, I'm gonna hack. So that was my one script game that I did. It was a GMC forum competition thing where you had to do a game entirely in, oh, entirely in one script. Um, and I did this. I'm not sure how many of uh, how many of them have, have made actually. There's been a few. I know, mm. maybe ten-ish. Uh, it's going to opera again. Stop going to opera. I know they own it now, but it's annoying. That's the default. Ooh, that's an old one. Game Maker Studio, there you go. So it's kind of like an Outlook Run thing. <laughs> this one's a full game. Uh, movement of the road's not quite right. I think you had a weekend to do it. Oh, you only got to crash once. <laughs> It was quite tricky, but so it wasn't bad, but yeah, it's just you kind of slide a bit on it. No, oh, I had tunnels. So yeah, the, road, the roads. I always want to do a proper road with these and then figure out how to do them. I never really got around to doing that. 
the basics is there, but how you actually stick to the road and turn corners. I haven't really got that's you kind of slide over with the speed you're going round. I've seen some really nice roads of these. Um uh, somebody spent quite a bit of time getting them right. That was quite cool. I'm gonna to manage to do a full lap for a crash. Just my mod player. That's not terribly interesting. One room. Don't think this this wasn't a game in a day one. Don't know what this one was. Why? Had this idea of doing a game that was just completely in one space like a, a, a building i think it was going for a school some kind of school room um maybe a zombie thing or something um with that zombie um zombie at my neighbor's style game play or something i like the idea of just using instead of going retro and having really chunky pixels um going very high res so you can see everything. I still quite like that that idea. The basic movement was all obviously there. Everything's just kind of ordered by Y. And then you've got the walls that kind of hide the player. So it's like the dungeon thing in the uh, the demo that you get with Game Maker. You kind of hide behind things. But just a very high res one. I still quite like that. It's an interesting idea just to do. Use the screen, the modern screen resolution to do something a bit more interesting. That's got a different texture that bit. I don't know why. Maybe we're just starting to put different tiles in. Um, it's actually drawn like that. So like collisions. You don't collide with the roof, you collide with those. Debug layer, Debug layer was for drawing text, that's what that was. The tops. So they were just decoration, they were over the top of everything. So you went behind stuff. That's where instances went. Walls. They basically walls would just be solid, you can get through them so they worked well for everything else. And shadows. Or just tile maps again. It's an alpha layer. Yeah, I still quite like the idea of that. Just a large single screen. Yeah, I think that could be fun. And um, one room, Pac-Man. I did do a Pac-Man one. That was good fun. I actually found a site detailing how the movement of the arcade machine went, um, so I recreated that and I described all the kind of turning points and stuff of, of Pac-Man. Um, oh. Something must have changed in, in Game Maker. These things aren't quite right. I should fix these up. This is actually on the um, uh, the marketplace I went through and changed all the graphics. Um can't remember if I changed the map. But so you can actually go and get this, but the sprites. Yeah. So there was different rules for how the sprites moved and the ghosts moved. Uh depending on what they had and how they ran away. Um Yeah. The ghost. You can't let them double back or do anything like that either. Actually, this is up in the marketplace. If anybody wanted it. 
there has been a suggestion to do the patrons that, that kind of pay for stuff then could give them access to the, all these things the source for these things um, which sounds like a plan I might try and arrange that um, I need to get some hidden github repositories or something um, oh, that's changed again it's this one platform engine I have no idea what this is. Oh, right, okay. Back at game, when I was doing Game Maker stuff, um, folk didn't like tile maps because you couldn't do pixel collision to them. So I did a, a live stream somewhere showing how to do that. So this is still a tile map, but doing pixel collision to a tile map. I think Sean Spaulding went and did a, um, a longer, more detailed version, basically using this stuff. Um, and you can see it kind of goes, a wee pixel there that tells you're in a tile or not. I oh, didn't realise I still had that one. There you go. Hey, Alex, from here, how you doing? Uh, pixel, platform engine, play fields. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's quite a lot. What could that be? Pop. Let's have a little look. Oh, this just looks like a test. Yeah. This was my uh, test for doing speeding up stuff. And drawing inside when I was doing Game Maker. So. That was nothing. Playfield shader. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did actually do a shader for drawing tile maps. Um, I think we did flipping and everything. Again, there is a video on my channel of um, um, of the outcome of this. You can kind of get infinite zooming and repeats and all that kind of stuff. And you basically just draw two triangles and then the shader does all the tile lookups. Um, so it's incredibly quick. I never did release that one either. So many unfinished things. Platform engine, play fields, book position. Pole position took a wee while to get going actually. Longer than I thought it was gonna gonna take. Uh, you kinda see it's you know the basics is there. It's kinda what the um that other game I did was based on. But you can kinda see you'd be able to steer. It's got things in the world. Ordering took me forever to do. I was just making silly mistakes. Right here you can kind of see everything's nicely lined up now. Oh yeah, I should have got further than that one. Has to be said, it's it took me a long time to just get the basic something in three D effectively or fake three D facing game. That might just be the um, the same game actually. Yeah, that's just the same one with added line effect. So I've seen that. Um, hello random person. Slingshot. Slingshot. I have no idea. Slingshot. Oh, that's a thrust. 
Oh, this is probably the marketplace one. Let's get caught first. So again, this was a physics thing. Um, so we're making thrust. Um, I don't know how to pick up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey. So yeah, this was using the physics engine to try and remake thrust. Oh. Although, admittedly, it's not got all the hard bits in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. But thrust. <laughs> that was good for that one. I hadn't done any game maker physics for that, so it's it was. That was good fun. Yeah, Space Hour is another one that I didn't... I don't know how long I spent on this one, actually. It took a while to get everything in the 3D as well. <sighs> That's getting very tiresome. Going up the GX again, don't do that. <sighs> okay, so I think this was just, yeah, this was just, uh, let's see if we don't touch anything or it goes. No, so I've got the ground running on this, and then I did get baddies coming towards you. Yeah, the sprites kind of scale and, and come towards you. Um, I don't know if I did all that with a shader. It's interesting. Did I? No. Okay. Order table. The 3D was done with order tables basically, just the depth that, that did all the ordering. So I just had an array of like a thousand or something and then depending on how far back you are you went in a slot and then I just looked through the slot in order and printed everything. So it's pretty simple. How did the ground work then? Ooh it just drew single pixel strips. Okay. I guess it's only the height of it. It wasn't terribly complicated. And it could kind of pan as well. So kind of like the racing game, it could kind of move back and forward, like let, let you run. So it'd be nice to get that one running again. This is up on the um, on my YouTube, showing this running, uh, not a stream of making it, but just showing it running. Um, especially Starquake. Yeah, this was interesting. I'd never done played Starquake properly. So when I was making it, um, I didn't actually know the rules I was supposed to be following. And that made it very interesting to try and clone. Um, I was forever looking up um, how it played and videos of people playing it and the rules. Just, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, Initially, I thought I was only going to get this kind of far. Oh, I'm not going to get rid of that. Whoa! That's a very big level. Holy jamoli. How did I get that? <laughs> I couldn't have. I wonder if that was one of the automated ones. So I can't imagine me actually drawing that. not the whole level so how well my sets oh there we go wow they're just big bitmaps okay I'm just printing them all up on the, in a map 
<laughs> wow, okay. So just lots of sprites. So presumably there's a big sprite. How do I graphic? Frame zero. So if I pick a different one. Frame one. Ah, oh, okay. So I just All right. <laughs> so I switch collisions off. There we go. Let's run that. Wow, that's the full map. <laughs> just shows you how much you get away with these days. It's just you know. And there was a fire, wasn't it? Did I put fire in? I'm not liking the way all these bodies are appearing. <laughs> Yeah, the teleporter. See, this is the problem of not playing the game. I had no idea how the teleporters worked. Oh, and I'm out of bricks. Because that's apparently a thing as well. I must have gone through and drawn all the collision stuff. Because that was definitely done by hand. So did they do them all? No. I only went so far. Okay. Because that would have taken forever. So collisions were all done just with little 8 by 8s or something by the looks of things. Uh, I have done quite a bit, but not all of it. It's a big old map, isn't it? It was a lovely game, that. It's, it's one I never got a chance to play fully. Um... That was very nice. So that was Starquake text printing. No file, no project. Thrust. Oh, they were probably old ones. Oh, okay. Can I do import? Why is there no project for this one? Hmm. That's annoying. Because the map on that was lovely. Why is there no project file? Damn it. That's annoying. Uh, Taylor tutorial asteroids. Game maker does have an asteroid tour, doesn't it? So that's not what I want to do. So Iridium. Iridium was fairly straightforward. Um, but I did have a bitmap with all the like all the player ships. But um spaceships you have to do. Don't seem to have it there. Yeah. So does this actually run? It's clearly when you hit run. It just there's something it doesn't like. No, the space harry was pretty straightforward, it has to be said. Um sorry, I am missing this that the the arm of my uh, webcam is just right over the text. Uh, Space Hour was fairly straightforward. The, the, the ground's the complicated part. Everything else is just a 3D sprite. There's nothing really that um, hard in it. You just have to scale it like from a dot up and then give it some distance and that's kind of it. I certainly didn't get that far in it and having you know the big long chain of things or anything. But the general game is fairly easy. Ah, you radio. Oh. Yeah, I saw that bug. The challenge on this one was the shadow. You can see the shadows kinda comes on the background a bit. 
goes off there so you get a nice it was like the original 64 one um, it was done like the color clash and it had a mask that was applied over a shape um, so that things went in shadow just where the bitmap was um, oh, oh yeah I remember get I couldn't quite get the explosions to match you know, the, the holes in the ground to match where the actual spaceships were it really annoyed me there's obviously a really simple bug there somewhere I just never got around to doing it but it's amazing how these kind of games in the past you're just gobstruck at just how smooth and cool they looked whereas now they just just don't take you very long at all and machines are so powerful that it's just it's easy to do. I have seen somebody else do Shadow of the Beast, but that would be a good one to do. Well, this was an interesting one. This wasn't a game in the day either. This was um, can't remember the name of the game that this came from. Um. Apache. It was, it was kind of voxel landscapes. Oh. It's a bit chuggy. This was one that needed YYC. Um, it does a lot of processing. Um, and it's yeah, there's a lot in the loop, so it takes a long time. So it definitely is why we see. There you go. Um, that's the one. So I can't remember. I think it was Apache that, that did this. This one's up on the um, Yo Yo Marketplace as well. I think it's just up as a demo. You can just kind of download and play with it. Um, it's always a fun one to do. Quite fancy doing this on the Spectrum, the, the Spectrum Next. It could be quite cool. It might be able to do it. The maps are pretty big, but you know, it'd be quite impressive if you could get it going. Almost finished. So that's, good. that's just the UU dungeon spectrum game. Don't know what this would be. Mm, this might just be me playing with the color clash or trying to strip it back or something to give me a spectrum framework because they did do a spectrum framework. Is that there as well? Spectrum framework. This was one I was going to put up on the uh, marketplace just for folk to get if it's actually working. Yeah, so this was basically a framework for doing games with Color Clash. I think you can switch it off, but I can't. I can't remember how. There you go. So you can switch off Color Clash or you can, you can kind of put it on so you can see all the kind of stuff fighting. Well, I see it's just an interesting thing. You can base a game round and get that retro effect. Um, and it just goes through the same setup as the Jetpack game did actually. Um, you have different layers for things so that when it comes to do it, it can kind of mask on wherever the white pixels are. Um, effectively, I've copied what the Spectrum had. So there's a there's a screen that's just full of colour, like colour squares, and then that just gets rendered on top of a black and white image. And wherever there's white, those pixels get masked in. 
Um, yeah, it's just it's just it's literally just a blind state that does it. It's nothing complicated. I did have a, a vlog on this on my site. Um, again, it might be another one that I'll, I'll bring over to my new website. Uh, you can see, see, there's nothing to it. It's just all about setup. That's quite good. I think that's it. These are just the same kind of thing. Mod trackers. Secret box. Here we go. So you see my emulator stuff. Um, yeah, nothing much. So there you go. Right. I shall end there. Um, I hope everybody was able to hear it this time. Um, I will review this and see what the quality is like and what the audio is like and then um, I will start thinking about a first game to make it a day and see uh, how we get on. It would be nice to actually do like a Saturday, 10 hours and see how much we can make in a day, an actual day instead of breaking it up over multiple streams but that might be a bit ambitious. Um, I will have to try and remind myself how Game Maker works, it's been a while. It's starting to come back to me. <laughs> I do have a whole load of new features that I've, I've not used at all. Uh, I'll need to see if I can find out why it was crashing and send them a bug report. Um, okay, well, thanks for joining me. Um, this will be up for anybody to go back and look at. Um, I'll leave this one running. Um, and I will pick maybe four games and then let whoever was on my Patreon stuff just now um, pick which one I do. I might just pick this one until so it can get going. I do fancy doing the Frogger one. I think that might be a good start because um, I actually have the graphics for that. I think most of the other ones I'll need to try and source graphics or cut graphics out or anything. I don't really want to spend you know, hours doing that so people just have to sit and watch me cut graphics out. That would be incredibly boring. Right. Thank you for joining me. I shall see you all later.